It's made by American artists. Education equals jobs, and in a creative economy, arts education is vital. That was the message from speakers at New Jersey's Arts Day. Held in May at the War Memorial in Trenton, some of the state's most gifted and talented students were honored for their accomplishments. And there were numbers, too. A new report was released analyzing the results of a statewide census measuring the delivery of arts education for every student in New Jersey today. Over 99% of public schools participated. At its very core, this is about determining to what degree students are able to participate in the arts as are required by the, the state core curricular content standards. This is New Jersey's second arts education census. The first, published in 2007, set clear goals that made a difference. We saw the changes in grade weighting. We saw the changes in the graduation requirements and how that was implemented across the state. All of that came from the data from five years ago. We identified per pupil spending at per pupil Holding arts educators to account is important because the arts teach skills that are essential for young people seeking work in the 21st century. Well, do you remember? No. Tell us. Tell us, Ellen. You wanted your father dead, didn't you? You wished him dead, didn't you? The I, job market I don't know what for you're them about. is going to rely on them the being day, more creative, more intuitive, you know. more imaginative, because the landscape for most employers these days is changing dramatically all the time. So they need a workforce that's flexible and can adapt. And that's the reason why more of an emphasis on the arts is crucial to the economic success of the young people of our state. I'm glad I took art in high school. First of all, it takes a lot of patience, so it's kind of like a battle, like after you get through like the first two hours and you feel really tired, but then you push yourself to move forward. It really helps you like grow as a person, I think. It's not really as simple and straightforward as just like drawing on a page. I think that there are business people who hire folks with arts experiences for a reason and they're very smart ones, right? Because they want independent thinkers, because they want people who can stand up in front of a group of people and be able to express themselves, um, because they want somebody who's sensitive and tolerant to other cultures. Uh, these are all things that the arts teach, and so there are businesses that are sensitive to that and hire accordingly. Personal narratives are a way for us to simplify the complexities of our lives into simple story format making it easier for us to understand ourselves and our surroundings. But according to the census, not all schools are measuring up, and that means some students are not getting the education they need for today's jobs. The challenging news is while we've increased access, participation has started to decline. We have to understand why there's a decline in enrollment in our elementary schools. That is the most troubling data point for me is that student participation in arts programs at the elementary level uh, declined from 86 percent to 80 percent and at the elementary level the, the arts are required. A new feature of the census allows parents to check out how their children's schools rank in terms of arts education. And that at least gives the parents some information to go in and begin to have a conversation with a principal or with the Board of Education to go, why is it that our school is not faring as well as maybe some other schools in our district or some other schools next door? Some schools go far beyond the basics, giving creative students instruction that can provide a real edge in their chosen fields. We have a number of programs that are career-oriented in the Arts and Communications Career Cluster. And actually, uh, we are one of the leaders in the country when it comes to uh, pre-professional training supported with rigorous academics as well. I actually wasn't even aware that the school existed until eighth grade, like the year before we, I had to apply. So my parents were searching for it, and I'm blessed that they were able to find it, and I was able to get into it. So, so one of my first choreographic works that I've, I did just by myself, so it's pretty cool. As the day drew to a close, an assistant DA from Philadelphia spoke. Hello, Carolyn Cruz received a New Jersey Governor's Award in the Arts when she was in high school, 
and she had some words of advice for this year's honorees. I'd say really hold on to that element of creativity that, that is propelling you, that is moving you forward. Nowadays, we live in this, the creative economy, the economy of can you, you know, come up with the newest app and the newest website, and, and, and it, it's amazing how much being a creative thinker and, and sort of visualizing possibilities out of nothing has now become an extraordinary asset. And so I would ask anyone who has these inclinations to hold on to them, and, and whatever career they take, it will make them stand out. Thank you.